did I get into graffiti? I guess uh, um, in growing up in New York, it was something that um, I would see in the streets and um, it was something very underground. So those two aspects of seeing it in the streets and it being underground um, was what attracted to me. So going on the, taking the train every single morning to go to work or school, I would see tags of some of my idols, which was like Futura and um, Lee and Quick and Zephyr, some of the old school or new school writers today, because they never age for me. And um, so I would see their stuff. And just like when you go to the museums and you would admire a painting, I would admire their work. And then I, from there, I started to try to write my name in, on the streets like them. And from there on, um, I got addicted. I got addicted to this, um, to this art, you know. And 156 was basically, uh, you know, growing up in the ghetto. Um, we didn't have very much um, ways to get out the ghetto, so we created our own identity and our own culture, our own way of communication, which is like being together and painting together and having fun together. And that's what 156 came out to be. You can see one of the 156, which is international now, which is Seiko's downstairs. So it became, uh, the dimension changed. My art was always evolving. What it did was save me as a human being because uh, I had reached my potentials in New York and I needed a way out and Paris was the way out for me so for me it, yeah, it helped me grow as an artist of course Paris because it's such an ins inspiring city with so much history so um, no, I was lucky to be able to have moved and to discover another culture. I mean I had seeing that uh, I wanted to conserve my work more in the sense of it not just being something I do in the streets and somebody comes one week later and paints over it or destroys it that had grown into some sort of frustration for me you know seeing my work um, painted over so the the idea of painting on canvas and it being able to to sh show it in um, galleries attracted me and that but you know, sometimes you need the style to do it. So what I was basically doing, um, like you see right here on a wall, is kind of the same thing I'm doing on canvas. So it wasn't a big transition for me to paint on canvas, whereas some other artists had more difficulties because they were doing things that were either too graphic or too illustrative. And I was doing something that was more expressive. And, and um, I was trying to express myself. And I think those are some of the things that um, um, are necessary in order for you to evolve into an artist is to express yourself rather than express um, uh, a general sort of like art form, you know. I was doing something more personal. Yeah, I think I had like a, for me, it wasn't like a flat wall like this, it was a difficult wall, whereas I had like two walls to do, you know, basically in two different moods because this one you have sort of like uh, you see it in a different perspective and then you discover this one. So um, I wanted to do something that um, that uh, you can see two different styles and it's not a continuation of one sort of wall. So the best exercise for me, because I've seen it as an exercise, was to do something in black and white where I show um, one part of aspect of my work and then go into something that's very colorful. So um, I've kind of worked at the environment, and, um, but it's basically the same thing, which is my, my writing my name. And um, this one is more inspired, I guess, by um, Jackson Pollock, because that's an artist that I've always admired. And I've always been compared to, to him as an artist. So I guess um, this one in particular, it's, um, it's the freedom of expression and the wildness of street art that I'm trying to express. So 
I'm especially proud of this one too. It makes me smile. <laughs> Even though the color one is, makes me smile, but this one is a funny one for me. I hope people understand it. Thank you for inviting me to this show. It's like incredible for me to, to be in this show. When Roxanne told me about a show, a street art show in a museum in Turkey, I was like, Turkey is like, it was hard for me to even imagine, but now I understand why and, and, I, and I say to myself, wow, they're very courageous to, to do something like this and I hope that um, other countries will follow.